Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Enzino17 with 575 rating versus Cody Angeloff with 582 rating, so this is going to be another high rated DB video, and before we hop in, make sure to go check out Cody Angeloff's Twitch, link down below in the description, and with that being said, let's hop right into this, and then we are going to see them tie... And then we're going to see Enzino win the rock, paper, scissors shoot so they can decide if they want to go first or second. And then said play for third place. Yeah, both of these players, uh, so I'm assuming that they're like fourth rated and they're like third rated right now. But looking at the deck counts, we can see 40 versus 40. Gotta love to see it. And then we are going to go ahead and see Enzino be going first. Opening hands, we have Rescue Cat, Bell, Ash, Karaz, and Kit. So this is... This is nice. And then they have Hornet Drones, Widow, Ash, Bell, and Afterburners. So they are going to be Ashing the Cap, but they do have an Extender here. Effects, Chain Ash, and then Summon Karaz by getting rid of Kit, and then Kit Effect the Dump. And then I'll go ahead and dump Nerval, and then Nerval Effect the Surge, Search out Fractal. And then Karaz Effect, Banishing 2, and then they said Think. So they're going to go ahead and summon out Bear Bloom here. So they could have also summoned out Blossom. And then Blossom, summon out Fractal. And then turn Blossom and Karaz into Bear Bloom. And then, you know, like, you know, draw put back off of Blossom. And then Fractal banish to summon and then go for, like, Appalooza. Uh, but they would have to, like, lose Bell to do that. So they're gonna go for silver, and then bear bloom, go grab revolt, and then put back, and then set revolt, pass, and then draw Valor. They're gonna activate Hornet Drones, summon out a token, and then go for Hayate, battle phase, uh, start a battle phase, yeah, start a battle. They're gonna activate revolt, and then chain bell, and then attack directly. They're gonna use the effect to dump, then this will go ahead and dump a ray. Then activate Widow on Silver during the battle phase. Main phase 2, go for Kagari. And then Kagari effect to add back. We'll try to add back and then they're going to Bell negate that. Then Afterburners pop. Then go ahead and make Shiz. End phase, Shiz effect, go search, Chain Ash Blossom. And then pass, draw Gamma. And that's just pass. Draw area 0. Yeah, I think it's pretty obvious that Striker definitely have the advantage here by far. And then effect to dump area zero. Main phase two, go for Kagari. Kagari effect, try to add back. And then they're going to activate Gamma. Bring out Driver. Ray will bring itself out. And then give it a Ray to make Shiz. And then end phase, go grab Engage. You know, they have follow up, they have a Valor. They draw Revolt, set it, pass, draw Afterburners, and then go Main Phase, activate, engage. They're going to let that go through, and they just submit defeat there. So now moving on to Game 2, we are going to see Tri Brigade decide to go first. Opening hands, we have Anti-Spell, Nerval, Driver, Kit, Fractal. So, you know, this card's extremely good versus Striker, and then they have their engine going. They have Engage, Widow, Rose, Ash, and Shark Cannon, so they only have one hand trap here. And then Fractal Effect, Chain Ash Blossom, Normal Summon Out Kit, imagine if this was Gamma. And then go for Amirage, Kit Effect, Dump Nerval, Nerval, go grab Kuraz, and then Summon Kuraz by getting rid of Nerval, Kuraz Effect, Banish, Summon Out Bear Bloom, and then turn those into Silver, and then Bear Bloom, grab Revolt, Put Back Driver, Set 2 Pass, to draw Terraforming, and then flip Anti Spell. Chain Widow to target Silver to negate, Normal Summon Out Rose, and then Revolt. They admit defeat there. So this has been pretty quick, actually. Yeah, we're nine minutes and we're moving on to Game 3. Holy. So we are going to see Sky Striker decide to make Tri Brigade go first. Opening hands, we have Kit, Ash, Cat, Gamma, Karaz. Oh, it, this is like... Pretty much like the game one hand, except they have Gamma, which is like obviously amazing going first. 
And they have Afterburners, Twin, Hornet, Upstart, Rose. Wow, no hand traps. They do have Twin, though. And then Normal Summon Out Cat. Cat Effect, get rid of itself. And then Summon Out Kit and Karaz. And then turn those two into a Blossom. You're going to use Kit Effect there to dump. Dump Nerval. And then Nerval, grab Fractal. And then Blossom Effect, Special Summon Out Fractal. And then use that. Banish two, Summon Out Bear Bloom. And then get rid of those to go for Appalooza. And then they're going to get Bear Bloom Blossom. Go ahead, Surge, put back, and then draw, put back. And then set pass, said no hand traps. Little... Yeah, it's very unfortunate for them to have no hand traps, for sure. And then they draw Eagle Booster. Said it's wild to be honest, I imagine. And then activate Upstart, draw on the Valor. Afterburners, out the Appalooza. And then Hornet, summon Token. They're gonna activate Revolt here. And then that's gonna summon back. And then go ahead and get rid of those. So why like they summon this from graveyard they could have just like summoned Kuraz, blossom and nerval and not summon this that way they couldn't get it with nib then go for omen get those effects you know out the token go search draw put back the, the this card this card is definitely very good because like this can dig for anti-spell or order and then they're gonna normal summon get rid of that go for hayate and then battle phase, attack directly, and then affect the dump, dump widow. And then main phase two, go for Kagari, Kagari effect, add back widow from the graveyard. And then make shiz. Go ahead, set two, end phase shiz effect, chain ash blossom, pass, draw ash. It's a whole lot of ash. And then we're gonna go main phase here. Special summon out Kuraz by getting rid of Kit. Set effect hand right. Yeah, and then they're gonna activate Kit 1, Omen 2. Set sec, no problem. If you lag and say that to me, I will go slowly. Uh, but the effects, I'm going to chain. Huh? So, I wanna see something here. How long did it take them to actually say that they're gonna chain there? So. Skip forward a little bit to this turn. Use those effects. Yeah, definitely took a little bit. So they're going to go ahead and chain link three target or chain link three widow target Kuraz, and then chain link four eagle booster on Shiz, taking Kuraz not Omen. And then Omen will attempt to banish Kuraz. And they're going to go ahead and dump. And then Nerval effect to go search. It's going to search out Fractal. So they wanted to banish Kuraz. And then Prosperity, banish three. And then go ahead and mill three. Ooh. That, that's pretty good. They do have twin, but... You know, order's order. Order's definitely nice. Also, I've been playing this card some. It's kind of cool. Uh, some cool interactions with it. Uh, you know, you can like pop tanky for free. You can add back for free. Some more is interesting. Uh, I doubt that they're playing like statue. I think this card's actually just like not worth it. They should probably play like the second like bear broom. Or I don't know what their extra is exactly, but the second Bear Bloom, the second Blossom, or the third Omen would just most likely be better than this. They actually come up more. One thing I thought, which is like super cool interaction that like isn't gonna like be played right now or anything, but if Ad Ignister ever becomes super popular and like their end board is a rival and they always have it at 6,000 attack. It has to be at 6,000 if they do that. And they also activate the card that makes them take 2,300 turn one. Which I know like this is like a lot for them to need to do, which is why it's like not gonna happen. But 
you could try brigade banish three and summon the ojama and then attack into it and then go for game i think like that would be awesome that'd be the best way to end the game ever is by summoning the ojama one day one day and then summon out fractal use the effect that's gonna banish three and then chain valor to that and then battle phase go ahead and poke over you know half damage so and then get rid of those make blossom and then omen effect to go search go search out nerval said oops Nah, nothing changed to be honest. And then go ahead and blossom some Nerval. Nerval effect, banish two. Think of more. Okay, so they're gonna summon out the double dragon lords and then get rid of those to make silver. I uh, can't, yeah, I was gonna say can't blossom because they use prosperity. And then set order, pass turn, draw bell. Get rid of Shiz for Kagari, and then, I mean, they could have, they wanted to, they could have, like, used this, but I guess they don't really need to, but summon Kagari, Kagari effect, try to add back, they didn't really target anything, I feel like you'd wait for a target or something, and then they're gonna go ahead and chain Twin to pop. You should give me a Kagari target. I mean, they definitely should have asked for one. Yeah, they're going to add back Hornet drones. And then they're going to chain Silver. And that's going to summon out Nerval. But it doesn't really matter. They don't really have anything. Hornet, summon out Token. It's like they don't, they don't even have like Ray Engraves. Like if they turn these into a Zeke, then they just, you know, out it. Yeah, and they admit the feet there. So GG, GG's man. No hand traps. Twenty one hand traps and drew zero. Hot sack was ordered to be honest. Well that happens. This game sucks, you should know. Good luck for ranked. Yeah, I feel like it's really just not hard for this deck to get the order anti spot. Everyone always says, Man, it's so lucky, but like, you know, you have five cards in your opening hand. You deck them, then you blossom. If you don't do blossom, then you have prosperity and prosperity digs, and you can use this to dig for six, and then you can get the order or anti spell. It's really not too hard for this deck to get to those. It's honestly like pretty easy. It happens like almost every game, it feels like. But this deck still isn't bad. I mean, they just got unlucky. They drew zero hand traps, which is like very unfortunate, obviously. You know, they have Valor, Bell, Nib, Meister. Uh, Ash, like they, they had a lot of hand traps obviously, 21 hand traps, like that's that's more than half your deck and they didn't draw a single one, so definitely unfortunate and then they drew like, you know, pretty good for sure. And then even got like Prosperity in the order. But seeing how long the whole match was, we can see that it was about 25 minutes long. That's not bad, especially because like the first two games only took like 9 minutes, so it was a 16 minute game 3. Uh, at, at least like it was a little bit longer uh, you know if it was like a super short match I couldn't post it but, like if the match is like you know eight minutes long like right right around there like eight to ten minutes long I try not to post it because like it'll do extremely bad because like every other video I post is usually like 14 minutes long ish at least so I try to do videos that long but I've been playing a lot of Tri Brigade on Rated it's actually the, the only deck I've played on rated this format so far. I've been playing like a few matches a day. It's probably just gonna like keep playing this deck. Uh, especially like in low rated, like what I am right now. Uh, well, you know, pretty much all of this is like not like high rated, but uh, yeah, it's just not, it's not too hard to win. Honestly, you don't even have to like focus that much and you can still like end up just catching dubs. Which I as I, I was I was doing, especially when I play against like super bad players, like super bad players, I'll like, you know, like get messaged. I'll look at the messages, be like ah oh, blah blah blah, respond to them just because like you know you can like kind of half do it when playing against like low rated people. Uh, all you have to do right now to get high rated is just play a lot. 
you don't have to be like super good. Like right now, if you just play a lot, you'll become high rated and then you can send in your replay and you'll get onto the channel. It's not too hard. You just have to play. But with all that being said, the GB Grinder signing off. Peace. Have a nice day.